from NBC News, this is Today with Matt Lauer and Meredith Vieira, live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. New research shows a few simple changes in your daily routine may stretch your healthy middle years into your 80s and beyond. In her new book, Age Proof Your Body, Elizabeth Sommer reveals some age-defying secrets. And this morning, she's here to share this, share them with us. Elizabeth, good to see you. Oh, nice to be here. And, and I got to tell you, in, in looking at this, this stuff is really pretty simple. It's oh, not like major, no, major stuff. No, it's just it's common sense. We just don't apply common sense to our own lives all the time. And I don't think people realize how profound effect they can have just making a few simple changes in what they do. Is it is it ever too late? Can you always do something to, to maybe turn the clock back? Well, you know, one of the things I learned in researching the book was that aging starts a lot earlier than we think. It, it starts as early as like your late teens or early 20s. Mm. So the sooner you start to change your lifestyle, the better. But no, it's never too late. They've done studies on 90 year olds in nursing homes and seen profound effects just making a few simple changes in how much they move. Okay, let's get started. First okay. one you say is basically, this one's pretty simple, mm -hmm. double your intake of uh, produce. That's right. Colorful fruits and vegetables. This is the most important thing you can do. Why? These are Mother Nature's uh, powerhouses of, of little compounds called antioxidants. Mm -hmm. And we know that a lot of the aging process happens from little oxidants or free radicals that damage cell membranes and lead to heart disease, cancer, and even aging. So if you can build up your anti-free radical arsenal, your antioxidants, mm -hmm. we know that from thousands of studies that people that do that live longer and healthier. What are the best fruits and vegetables to go with? Color. Mm -hmm. Go for color. So the brighter the color, the better That's the right. vegetable the antioxidants fruit? are in the pigments. So, and two... A rule of thumb is two fruits or vegetables at every meal, one at every snack. And that's as easy as putting some cranberries on your cereal and having some cantaloupe. You can even drink your vegetables. Mm -hmm. I love V8 juice. Just go for the low sodium or, or reduced sodium. Mm -hmm. um, it's got the heart check on it. And you can get two servings in just one glass. Next thing you say is cut out the bad fats and add the good yeah, fats. Yeah, and I, this is another one. I think people know the saturated fat, the trans fats are pro-aging. They, mm -hmm. they increase the aging process then lead to heart disease, colon cancer. So cut out or at least cut back on the mm -hmm. meat, the, the fatty dairy products, the, the trans fats that are in right. processed foods. But there are good fats mm -hmm. that actually uh, reduce aging. Basically those omega-3s? The, well, the omega-3s, the monounsaturated mm -hmm. in olive oil, the omega-3s in salmon uh, not only reduce heart disease risk, but they reduce dementia, Alzheimer's, even macular degeneration, a form of vision loss. If you don't like salmon or you, you're concerned about the pesticides, then look for foods that have life's DHA omega-3 in them, Odwalla soy mm -hmm. milk, uh, Gold Circle farm eggs, things like that that are fortified with DHA. Okay, the next thing I think is kind of interesting, so you, you, listen, you should always listen to your mom, Take your vitamins. Yes. More so now as you get older than ever, because mm -hmm. we know that several nutrients we don't absorb as well as we get older. For instance, vitamin D, mm -hmm. the sunshine vitamin. We can make it in our skin when we're, when we're out in the sun. Uh, but by the time you're in your 20s, you're only making about 80% of what you made. So you're as you're your, aging, you're making less You're making Less, less vitamins. and less and less. By the time you're in your 60s, you're making 40% or less of the vitamin D that you used to. So vitamin D, and this, of course, is a vitamin important in bones. Mm -hmm. We were talking about that earlier in the sure. show. So make sure that you get a, a B12. 12 is another one, calcium, several of them. Make sure you get a good solid multiple. Uh, if you don't drink a lot of milk or get a lot of magnesium rich foods, get a calcium magnesium supplement. Mm -hmm. And then for those antioxidants, again, get a supplement that will boost your body's production of antioxidants, such as Protandum, mm -hmm. which uh, boosts um, antioxidants in your body up to 54% and reduces those free radicals. And the other thing you say to do, and, and for so many reasons, eat real foods. Real now, when you food. say real foods, what are we talking We're about? We're talking about unprocessed stuff. You mm -hmm. know, weight gain is a real problem right. in this country. And skip all the fad diet junk, you know, the food combining and all that stupid stuff. Yeah. It's really as simple as go back to unprocessed, real food. This is a food that has the lowest calories, the highest fiber, the most vitamins and minerals. So have the uh, plain rolled oats, not the oat-like granola bar. Have mm -hmm. the steamed broccoli, not the broccoli and cheese sauce. Have, Have a, a baked potato, potato instead, instead of, of the fr French fries. And, and, so the, and, and if you extend that, you really should, I hate to say it, stay away from fast food restaurants. Absolutely, absolutely. Or make it a, you know, a, a, it's a once, treat. once or twice a year, mm -hmm. go to a fast food restaurant. Like but with our kids, we the only time we let them go to a fast food is when we go to visit grandma and grandpa down in Georgia. Okay, that's, a, that's, that's a, perfect. They know, so that's, that's why they want to go all That's the right. Time. It's not that you have to... <laughs> <laughs> I love Let's go grandma. see grandma and grandpa. Yeah, I love them. <laughs> well, maybe grandma and grandpa can move into McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, uh, whole grain bread instead, instead of, of white uh, bread. Uh, and you're going to like this. I know. This is, 
because I find this fascinating. I know. These are extracts. Mm -hmm. We're talking about chocolate, wine, See, when and I think extract, tea. I think vanilla. But these, these are... These are extracts. They, they are antioxidant-rich foods that have been concentrated, mm -hmm. concentrated for us. And so, th I love chocolate. Mm -hmm. Well, we now know that chocolate increases people's uh, uh, antioxidants. Now, a certain kind of chocolate? Yes, it's got to be at least 70% cocoa powder, mm -hmm. and um, and Dutch processed chocolate won't work because the alkaline stuff they've used right. to make it has reduced those antioxidants. So you, you want green tea. You got green tea, lots of antioxidants, and red wine, <laughs> 20 times the antioxidants mm -hmm. in red wine, which is why I switched from Chardonnay to Merlot. Well, then why does our director look so old? We're not drinking enough, <laughs> baby. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth Summer, thank you so much. The book again.